Tatiana Arrington, Where is the Buzz TV? Zach, how you doing today? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing good. So I hear that you're a horror movie fan, as am I. So I would love to know what are some of the inspirations behind this film? Mm, uh, probably the biggest inspiration would be Audition, uh, the Takashi Miike, it's 1999, uh, it's a Japanese movie. Um, it deals with a lot of the same sort of sexual misbehavior, those sorts of themes, and it, it has a very surprising act structure. Uh, I'm a big fan of anything Sam Raimi's done. So Evil Dead 2, that kind of stuff. I'm a big fan of, you know, The Shining and, and the classics, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Exorcist. I, I love those. I love Get Out. Get Out's a huge inspiration for, for this movie. You know, I, this movie couldn't exist if Get Out hadn't come when it did. Wow. Um, and Hereditary. Yeah. Hereditary so scary. <laughs> so scary. So good. <laughs> so good. Um, I also wanted to talk to you about, I know that this film starts off with a woman who's renting a home and then she realizes that someone else, Bill Skarsgård, is also there. How scary is it to use actual things that could potentially happen? Is that something that you intentionally did versus going through a supernatural element of scary or something? Different. Yeah, I, I, I respond much more to um, grounded horror, you know, um, and now you can always push the envelope like my movie does. It kind of it does sort of take off from terra firma at a certain point. Right. It's like Get Out does, you know, Get Out, you know, at, at a certain point you're watching a sci fi movie and that's OK, because because it's it's built such a convincing world around itself that you you just are you're on the ride already. So hopefully right. we've done that with this. I, I don't have as easy a time getting into straight up ghost movies um they don't they don't <laughs> yeah. do it for me as much but uh to each their own but yeah mm -hmm. no yeah that's exactly what i thought i was like wow it's you don't know what's going on in people's homes you don't know what happens if you rent a room or rent a airbnb or something like that so i really like that aspect of the film of like what happens beyond these walls even in the trailer when fans see like that house clip at the end, it's its so good. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah. I love it. Um, and lastly, I wanted to ask about casting. I know originally for Justin Long's character, you said that you were thinking of a, a Zac Efron type. What made you decide to go with uh, Justin? So this is not a knock on Zac Efron, what I'm about to say, but I, you know, that character on the page is, is, is really vile and mm -hmm. I think I had just been thinking like, who can play a really great villain? You know, who's a villainous actor? And he kind of popped into my head. Um, but as I was going along with the process, I realized that, you know, Justin Long is, is such a warm and a disarming and a charming, like lovable presence mm -hmm. on screen. Right. And I was like, that is so much more engaging to me uh, to have someone with that sort of palette playing a vile character that's interesting as yeah. opposed to just the straightforward like this is this is you know i'll spoon feed you the obvious sort of baddie and so <laughs> i'm so glad that 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 i got him and that he came on board and and i think it, it just makes the character so much more real um and so much more complex so yeah, yeah that's that's how that came about i think it works well too so i'm super excited for fans to see it and congratulations i know this is your debut film so this has got to be very exciting it's very very exciting for me it is <laughs>